vlog day 137. I hope you watched last video of my devotional vlog day 136. So before we start, let us sing a song. Let us sing. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Let us sing. How high, how low, how deep and wide. Ready, sing. How high, how low, how deep and wide. How high, how low, how deep and wide. How high, how low, how deep and wide. The love of God. How high, how low, how deep and wide. How high, how low, how deep and wide. How high, how low, how deep and wide. The love of God. How high, how low, how deep and wide. How high, how low, how deep and wide. How high, how low, how deep and wide. The love of God. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Please help us as we start our devotion now for today. Please bless us, guide us, and please protect us. In the name of Jesus, Amen. So the title of our devotional for today is Day 137. You are not expected to be perfect. Our key text will be found in 1 John 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins to Him, He is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from every wrong. When you make a mistake, do you really get really mad at yourself or maybe really, 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 really mad? Hopefully not. After all, everyone makes mistakes and nobody is expected to be perfect. Even when you make mistakes, God loves you, so you should love yourself too. So the next time you make a mistake, learn from it, and you learn your lesson. And try never to make the same mistake again, but don't be too, but don't be too hard on yourself. God doesn't expect you to be perfect. He loves you anyway. You should feel that way too. So the lesson is, um, it's just that we're not expected to be perfect because some people, when sometimes when they're not perfect, uh, uh, they're thinking they're very mad at themselves, and um, they're every time they're not perfect, they're always they're always um, they're always always getting very mad. So. Some people are like that because they don't know that God loves them so much that and says that we can learn from it. That's why when that's why we also need to pray because um, when we pray um it helps us because um we're not expected to be perfect. Um that's why God made us not to be perfect. He made us so so that we can do good things and um when we keep on trying we will finally get it well not to the point that when you're perfect you, you some because some people are thinking when they're perfect god is not they don't need god because some people even they do know even though they know god they're still they know that they don't need him anymore that's why not to the point of like that it's just or because God is the one that made us perfect. Because um, if we pray to Him, we will not, we won't, uh, we will be perfect. That's why some people are not realizing that God is the one that's making us perfect. So my experience from that is um, before when um, for the past couple years um, I was having my exam. So while I was having my exams, uh, I got a few mistakes and every time I go, uh, I go to have a mistake, I go to Nana and ask, is, is, it, is it okay because um, I got it wrong because I'm a bit sad but um, I realized that even though we get one wrong, two wrongs, it's okay 
even though we failed because it says that we can learn from our mistakes and we can always have the second chances not, a, not like um, we will not study not like that is we still like need to do things we're supposed to do but if we get one wrong or two wrongs it's okay because we always have second chances from god if we pray so that's why uh um we are not expected to be perfect and god loves god loves you and me and if we pray we will always be perfect in his eyes let's pray dear god when i make a mistake i will admit what i've done i will apologize to the people i've hurt you are perfect lord i am not i thank you for your forgiveness and for your love amen bye god bless you hope to see you in fans devotional vlog day 138